All right, guys, grab a snack, grab a tea, grab a coffee, grab something, because we're gonna be here for a while. Look how big this is. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica. I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday solely based on all things makeup. Today is really exciting. It is the very first haul I'm ever posting to this channel. I, for the first time, in my young life, and by young I mean 25, I went into an Ulta all by myself. I went by myself and I looked around for a good, you know, hour, hour and a half and I bought whatever it is that I wanted. I had a little bit of a list like on my phone. I had the Ulta app and I had like my little favorites list. But for the most part, I just kind of got to do my own thing. And this is the result. <laughs> I'm just gonna dig through the bag and just kind of show you everything that I got. It's not gonna be in any order whatsoever. This bag is massive and I didn't wanna organize it beforehand. First, I'm actually gonna start with what's on my face right now. I bought a new concealer and a new foundation. I got the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade medium one. And I also got the Ulta, like the Ulta like in-house brand, full coverage liquid concealer. This is also in the lightest warm color, which is light warm. Yeah. So I'm wearing those today. If the video of my first impression of these is already up, I will go ahead and throw it up in the cards. If not, subscribe to stay tuned. All right, so first we got the receipt. Huh. Let's, we can look at that later. I have the Eco Tools sponge. Now this is the duo that comes with the bigger Eco Tools, Eco Tools, Eco Tools sponge and the smaller, I guess the under eye version of it. Um, I've seen a couple of videos about this and I was really intrigued. It was $10 for the bundle, so I'm excited to try this one out. Another sponge that I got, I went ahead and got the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge, which is the... Oh, <laughs> it wiggles. It is the one that's got like that pointed... I don't know if you guys can see it in the package, but it's got that pointed tip right up there. And it's supposed to be really good for getting like your under eyes. And I have a lot of trouble with like sponges either being too big or not being shaped right for under my eyes. So I am excited to try this one out. I do have the other Morphe sponge that is like the... It's got like the fat butt and it kind of has like an hourglass shape up in the top. I, mean, I like it. It's not horrible, but it's not like my favorite sponge, but I do like the, the squishiness of it. So I'm hoping that I like this shape a little bit better. Next, I got a couple of lashes. Now, if you've seen my beauty goals for 2018 video, you do know that lashes are something that I really want to work on and get to a point where I can wear them every day with little to no trouble. So I did buy an Ardell multi-pack. These are the Black Demi Wispies. It comes with four pairs. And then I also got one pair of the Eyelore Vegas Nay Lashes, and this is the... does it have a... does it have a thingy? I guess they're just called the Easy Elegance Lashes. They look like this. I wanted to go with something a little bit more natural looking, and I'm not a huge fan of the lashes that are just like a band of just full like th you know? Like, like this one you can see like there's a little bit of space in between each lash and they do look a little more natural. Whenever I see the lashes, it's like a band and it's like just full black across the band. I'm just not really that into it. So I, that's why I got these ones and then the Demi Wispies from Ardell. Next, I did get two products from Physicians Formula. They were buy one, get one half off, and both of them are repurchases. I first got the all-in-one custom nude palette simmer, simmer, simmer strips, shimmer strips. I got the all-in-one custom nude palette shimmer strips in the shade Natural Nude. Now, I do love this brick. I had one and I completely used up the top two rows. I'm not a huge fan of a shimmery bronzer for the bottom, but that is something I might be able to try this upcoming summer. So this is a repurchase from me. And also, I did get another butter bronzer in the regular shade bronzer. My current bronzer, I don't know if you've seen my products I've hit pan on video, I'll go ahead and throw that up as well. But in that video, I showed you I hit like the itty bittiest baby pan on that product. So of course I went out and bought another one. 
So this one, like the other one that I have in my collection, I will depot as soon as I open it, but I'm not gonna open this one until I go ahead and use up the majority, if not all, of the one that I already have. Next, a, another repurchase. I got the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I absolutely love this stuff. I have one that I just opened and I've used a couple of times, so this one is just gonna be a backup. So I forgot also from Physicians Formula, I went ahead and bought a few more shades of their healthy lip i absolutely love this formula so i went ahead and bought four more shades so i got a nice corally pink color this is the color coral minerals i got another red shade and this is the fight free reticles shade i got the other nude shade which is called bear with me and then I got a plummy kind of shade, rosy plummy, and it's called Dose of Rose. And it is that one right there. I'm very excited to try out all these colors because I did love excuse you. I did love the formula for the two shades that I currently have, the red and the nude, so I'm really excited to try out the rest of these colors. Two more repurchases because I can't count. I did get another of the Shape Tape, one of my favorite concealers, and I have the shade Light Medium Honey, so I just went ahead and bought a backup. I'm just about done with the Shape Tape that I have. I did buy that one a few months ago, and that Actually, it was almost a year ago. Bought that one almost a year ago, and it was the first shape tape I bought, so it did last me quite a while. So this is my backup for that one. So I also bought a backup of the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. Now, this is my favorite mas- Excuse me. Now, this is my favorite mascara that I've ever tried. I still have the Lash Paradise to try out. It's been sitting in my drawer for a while. I haven't gotten to it yet, but at out of all of the mascaras that I've tried up until this point, this one's been my favorite. I have one in my collection right now, so I just went ahead and bought a backup because it's $4.99. You can't beat it. Let's go back to lips. On sale, they had the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencils. I've been looking to get a few more lip liners just because I don't really have that many in my collection to begin with. So I picked up two of the shades. They were on sale for $10. I got the colors Weirdo and Native. So this is what the box looks like. They're both fairly nude colors. I was looking for something that I could wear almost every day. Yeah, pretty much. Staying on the Urban Decay train, I did pick up two of the heavy metal liners. I'm... Don't drop them. I'm really excited to try these. I bought two colors. I have the color Pyro and the color Glam Rock. Now, they are kind of similar. This one's a really um, silvery, glittery shade. And this one's more of like a sheer with little specks of like pink and light silver glitter. Why can't I talk today? I have been working more on cut creases recently and I found that I love the way that a glitter like line along the cut crease looks. I am a little bit behind on that bandwagon but I am loving this so I'm really excited to try these out. Speaking of glitter, I went ahead and picked up two of the Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadows. One in the color Rose Gold Retro and one in Gold Goddess. These are absolutely beautiful. I swatched them in the store and just immediately threw them in my bag. I also picked up one of the Shimmer and Glow shades. Now, overall, I wasn't too interested in the Shimmer and Glow just because if I'm putting on like if I'm buying something separate to put onto my lid, I want it to just go like bam, but I could not leave the shade behind. It is gorgeous. It is like this green with little reflex of like yellow and gold. Let me go ahead and swatch it because, oh my God, look at that. Look at that. I was just drawn in and I had to pick it up as well, so really excited to try this out in a couple of looks that I have planned. So something that has been out for quite some time that I still have not tried yet, I picked up the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I grabbed this because I'm at that point where a lot of my foundations aren't matching me so great currently by themselves. I have to kind of like mix and match and try to find a combination that works well. So I thought of getting um, a nice mix in medium or a nice like, you know, drop formula of something that I can mix in to make some of my foundations work a little bit better. I picked up the color G20, which is the golden undertone and it's the lightest golden undertone in that line. Now it is a giant bottle. I doubt I will, you know, 
ever go through this and that is the shade right there it is a little light and a little gold for me but since i'm not really going to be using this on its own and i'm going to be using it to fix the shades of other foundations i think it's going to work pretty well now i did pick up from nyx the epic black mousse liner it's the one that comes in the little pot i have been wanting to try out like pot style liners for winged eyeliner recently and i thought the nyx one would be a good place to start so I picked that one up. I did grab one primer, one that I was interested in. I grabbed the Pore Professional Pearl Primer. Uh, it is brand new. I haven't heard a whole lot about it or seen really anybody try it yet. So I'm excited to try it. I believe this is like the mini. Yeah, I got the mini version, which was still pretty expensive. But honestly, with how many primers I have, I think the mini is a good place to start. Now, I did pick up two brow products, one from Anastasia Beverly Hills and one from Stila. I did pick up the Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I have not ever bought a brow product from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but along with their eyeshadow palettes and their contour palettes, of course, this is what they're best known for. I don't have an issue with brow hairs. What I have an issue with is just filling in some of these sparse areas towards the top of my brows. I was hoping to pick up the brush that they sell along with this. My local Ulta was sold out. So I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can pick it up online. It's like a double-ended one. It's got like the angled liner on one side and the spoolie on the other. So I am hoping to pick that up sometime soon to go with this. The other brow product that I picked up was the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color. Now at my local Ulta today, they actually had a couple of Stila representatives there. They set up like um, this cute little thing in the front where they had a couple of tables and they were doing like eyebrows and makeup for people. And one of the guys that worked for Stila was kind enough to help me out with my brows. I explained the situation about how like I do have a lot of brow hair. The only issue is I want to fill in some of the sparse areas and he suggested the like pen like formula. Now it really is a pen and from what he showed me the actual pen itself breaks up into a bunch of smaller hairs so that you're left with like this nice light natural looking brow color. I picked up the shade dark no, I picked up the shade Medium, which is a pretty dark brown to begin with, but the color is really buildable. And from what I've seen, I think this is going to be a great match for me. So I'm really excited to try this one out because I think it's going to be a good in the middle. Like it's not a heavy pomade, but it's not a pencil. So the last two products I have are palettes. Now, the first one I got is the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette from BH Cosmetics. I have been wanting this palette for months and months and I toyed around with the with the idea of getting it from the BH website because that's where I did buy the Zodiac palette from. I just held out and waited until I went to Ulta the next time. Now this is what the palette looks like. It is beautiful. You've got the highlighters on the bottom. You've got like a shimmery bronzer. You've got a shimmery blush. These shades are nice and neutral and all matte. You have a nice mirror right there on the top. Hello camera. And I'm just in love with the packaging, I'm in love with the shades, and I am really excited to try this out. Because if this is anything, oh I lied, these, these ones up top are not all matte, definitely lied. But I am really excited to try this out because if this is anything like the formula of the Zodiac palette, which is my current absolute holy grail right now, I'm going to love this. And the last product that I picked up completely on a whim, wasn't planning to get this, the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette honestly i saw i saw this palette in trend nude i saw this watches i wasn't really inspired to get this the packaging is gorgeous of course as always for Too faced it's got a nice big mirror it takes up the entire palette space as opposed to their other palettes that normally have like a little cutout on it but the shades in person are stunning i'm gonna go ahead and ignore like these mattes over here because i'm not really going to be reaching for them especially considering the fact that my pan that palette is mostly neutral shades i don't feel like i'm going to be reaching a whole lot for these but the glitter shades are gorgeous let's go ahead and yeah Honestly, the review that tipped this over the edge for me was Liv Loves Her Makeup. Honestly, she could sell me a dead body. Just anything. If Liv Loves Her Makeup loves it, odds are I'm going to be trying it out. Even though, like, we don't really have the same skin tone, we don't really have the same, like, skin type. But you just, I don't know. She's just 
she's just one of those people guys i love her personality and i have watched like all her videos she's she's amazing i think we did it i think we made it to the end i am so excited about all of these products thank you for sticking with me through this i'm sure it was quite long haul i hope if you like this haul you'll go ahead and give my video a thumbs up so that i can know if you would like to see more hauls in the future and i hope you'll subscribe so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos thank you for spending today with me and i hope i'll see you in one of my future videos bye